Hey, how's it going? <laughs> okay, so I finally... <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm on Facebook Live, finally. I still can't believe it. This is my second video doing this. Um, I had a bit of trouble earlier with um, the NatWest Bank. Like, I still... I told you guys earlier that scammers were still able to get through to my line and you know I I'm gonna be honest with you these are just based on my own observations about what Nat how NatWest have been handling me over the last few weeks the thing is the fraud kind of um, stepped everything up a gear the last time it happened so now I'm extra vigilant with regards to what personal information I give out who I speak to and at times it might seem like I don't actually trust the bank themselves. But truth be told, I don't trust, you know, the Freemasons with anything. I don't trust the sex with anything. Because they're always going to fuck with your shit. So, like, I don't trust them with anything. Uh, at the same time, you know, really examining my feelings about how I feel about the bank situation. And quite honestly, I'm not as stressed as I could be. I feel like there's a deeper part of me that knows that whatever happens, there's nothing really to worry about because, you know, I can't... I'm not one of those people who's like, oh, God's got my back or... No, I believe in me. And I believe in my ancestral line. <laughs> I believe in... Even if my ancestral line don't believe in themselves, I believe in my ancestral line. Okay? Those are the things that I believe in. My ancestral eminence and I also believe that as long as you dig the speck out of your own eye and you keep a pure heart then you can transmute the energies that are delivered onto you by the gang stalkers and it occurs to me that that's what I've been doing this entire time even when I wasn't well even when I was upset with a lot of what was going on, like I was transmuting everything that I was experiencing, I'm still doing it. And that's probably why I'm not really worried about my outcome, even though I probably should be, because, you know, I'm 35, don't have a family, homeless, and I made myself homeless. I didn't have to. But I feel like... I don't know why, there's something inside me that just feels like there's nothing to worry about. I can't put my finger on it, on why I feel this way. You know, on it's like on the surface, I've said this before, it's like on the surface, you know, as a targeted individual, little things annoy you, like little things get you down and little things even make you angry, apoplectically angry, if that's a word, apoplectic rage. But it's like at this deep-seated level of your being, there's an inner security. It's not numb. It's not non-feeling. It's just steady. These, these dogs around here are just so cute. Like, I, I can't even... <laughs> they are so cute. Okay. Um, so, I feel like like the, you know there are so many problems that a TI goes through like the torture the psychological mind games and things like that and yeah it gets annoying but because I take it and I transmute it and I turn it into personal power and also what I also try to do is keep my heart pure keep my heart pure keep my mind pure keep my actions my intentions pure and that is what kind of gets me through everything that's why I haven't been talking to you guys as much that's why I haven't been ranting to you guys as much that's why I haven't been as upset is because I have to make a decision am I going to win or am I going to have peace <laughs> and I've decided to have peace <laughs> The only way you're going to win the game is if you don't fucking play. Let them do what they want to do. If they want to talk shit, if they want to torture you, go ahead, have at it. 
but make sure that you have a solid foundation like you know what to do when you're in pain you know what to do when you're um when you're emotionally you're not feeling as well as you could feel have a plan have a plan have a solid foundation as to what to do when those moments where every it feels like everything's on top of you have a plan as to what to do when it gets to that point that's all you need to do a lot of people act like it's complicated it's not complicated you're going to have bad moments in life and especially if you're a woman it's going to affect you in a really really bad way emotionally so what you have to do is you have to prepare for that prepare for your hormonal shifts prepare for your emotions prepare for all of that so that you're not caught short when things go wrong or when the um, targeting amps up or when things get out of control you know, you'll have all those surface emotions like anger, like discomfort and things like that. But on the undercurrent, you'll know what to do. That's what I do. Whenever I have a little worst case scenario, I always imagine the worst case scenario in my mind and I prepare for it. So when problems do arise, it's not like I don't get upset. But because I know how to transmute my situation into my advantage... And that's a skill that every marginalized person has had to learn, especially if you're, if you're black, if you're a TI, if you're a woman, if you're queer, if you're not Christian or, you know, even maybe if you are and you believe in a different type of Christianity that goes against the mainstream. And no, I'm not talking about Whisper, Whisper Baptist Church. Fuck, fuck those motherfuckers. I'm talking about the ones who openly criticize the way Christianity is being practiced and, and you know in their mind they seek the true religion because there are a lot of frauds in the Christi Christian sect or Christian religion and there are a lot of real ones there are a lot of real Christians who don't like what they're seeing so anybody who's been marginalized in accordance with their beliefs or something they can control we have learned for the longest time how to transmute everything that's thrown at us or how to make the best out of whatever little we're given we've had to learn that and the more marginalized we are the more we've had to learn that and we become stronger as a result you know i have so many trs coming to me talking about like just wanting to someone to talk to just wanting someone to talk to about the bullshit that they go through, about everything that they go through. And you're going to go through that. You're going to go through times when you need somebody to talk to and you need somebody to get it off your chest. But remember to transmute and have a foundation. So right now, I had a little bit of an upsetting situation, but, you know, I'm not killing myself over it. Not worth it. Today has been one of many good days and I'm really like enjoying my time here. And a lot of people would say that, oh, you know, you just gave up your home just to go on holiday. And I'm thinking, well, yeah, why the fuck not? Like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not being funny, right? But I'm not being funny. If I'm on benefits, right? And the gang stalkers are going to keep up this lie about me making all this shit up like being me being mentally ill enough to make all this shit up if they're going to keep up that lie then I might as well do me in it dump the flat go travelling or some shit that why not I mean granted I probably should have got a new card before I moved but why not turn your whole life into something that makes you happy it doesn't have to be a holiday, but your life should make you happy. As a TI especially, it's fucking important that you're in the right situation or you're in a conducive environment to what brings you the most joy in your life. Being here for several different reasons. For me, it's better than London. So I don't... I don't understand like if you if you if you're going to pack up and leave everything then 
I can't think of a better reason to do it than to come some some place where you know you're going to fit in so that you can understand exactly what you need to incorporate into your life. I can't think of a better thing to do than that. But that's just me. Yeah, so... I'm just still getting to know the place. I'm still getting to know Brighton Hove. There's so much I haven't seen. I don't know the area very well because I've still got to get around the transport stuff. I've got to wait for my car to come through and then get around the transport stuff. No, perps have made a few cracks about that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't give a fuck. I really don't. I'm sorry. I don't give a, I don't give two shits, mate. <laughs> They're trying so hard to be relevant and it's like... They're trying so hard to be relevant, like it's cra <laughs> it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy, like how hard they're trying to be relevant. Like, I can't, I can't with this, you know. But um, yeah, that's. I think that's all I have for you. Um, now I'm about to go into real justice to Rose stuff. Because what I want to do, I want to make sure that I do the reading before the 18th or 19th. Because that's when the new moon starts. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably do that. You know, so let's see. Let's see what happens though. Let's see what happens. But anyway, I love you guys. Stay safe. Fabian out. Peace. Mm-hmm.